What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Ducks and Download, and in this Knights of the Old Republic Dark Side Let's Play, we will continue our story as Darth Revan continues to fall deeper and deeper into the dark side of the Force. Thank you all so much for joining. Happy May the 4th. This is definitely going to be one of my main videos I'll be putting out that day, May the 4th. That's right. As I continue to put out more and more videos, there will be live streams. There's going to be shorts. There's going to be fun little interactive videos. There's going to be fun theories. I can't wait to share all of it with you guys. So let the festivities begin and may we continue playing our dark side game. We have just recently landed on Tatooine. And we are going out to start the adventures on the dunes of the desert planet in the city of Anchorhead. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Mm. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve, after some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100. You see that Aqualish in the back there? That guy in the orange jumpsuit? I don't like him. You'll find out why. The immediate benefit is access to these very docking oh, facilities. Oh, the immediate benefit. This of, is you know. the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. I do not need to pay you the know, fee. No, I don't think you need to pay the fee. I'm amazed at how many people that works on. You have no the idea, Kandaris. must be filled with weak-minded fools. No idea. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Um, the very specific things you should That's ask. That's not much in antiques artifacts. You a digger? I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I doubt you'll learn anything different. You could always ask a Jawa. I really need to get going. Wish. Jor U Kurak. I could kill you by just seeing you. A shipment on my ship? What the? What are you talking about? Go peef somewhere else. What the hell's a Giska? AKA, there's a lot of little annoying lizards stuck in my ship now, and they stay there forever if you don't get rid of them. But thankfully, my friend here, Mictuanagis Orgu, might just have something for that. Yeah, show me what you have to say. Anasai Brand. Most famous of the Chinese warriors. Fighting against oppression and villainy under... Until encountering Darth Revan. Discovering that Revan had killed an Chinese senator. Yusani attempted to tell authorities but fell to the powers of the Sith Lord despite his own impressive abilities in the Cortes Weave inherited in all in Chani by Revan's. By the gods. All right. Sith energy shields, those are pretty handy, actually. Snag up one of them. I don't really have any money for anything else, but... Definitely got a lot of stuff I could probably sell. Let's get rid of that. Don't need any more of those, because I'm probably going to come across a whole bunch of them. Yep, sell that. Which is that? Oof, duh. Alright, yep, that's gonna have to wait, Candorous. That's gonna have to wait. Tatooine's a dust bowl, and that's all it'll ever be. Alright, Donald Trump. Get the fuck out of my. What the hell? What? I did, I did not ever remember that guy's voice. <laughs> I thought he had something. Yay, there we go. Yeah, I need that fucking poison, like, yesterday. Alright, I'm gonna go get rid of these guys now because they're annoying. Oh my god. Look at him. Look at him being all annoying. 
Yeah, they're kind of cute, but the the lack of eye socket thing. Like, there's eyes in there. They're just painted in front. You know. Kill it. Fragile oh. creature's neck is easily wrong. Strangely enough, another use case shows it's at the moment later crawling from between two panels. Yeah, you can't can't kill your way out of this one, sadly. Hey, hey, do it here. You gross little thing. Feed it the poison. I think we're really cool, but we'll probably take a few seconds for the poison to have an effect. All right, cool. You all die now, please. All right, let's do this. Bye, Donald Trump, docking bay mechanic. <laughs> that voice took me by such a surprise. <laughs> All right, here we are. The bustling streets of 15 pixel anchorhead. Hell yeah. The hunting lodge. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's where the hunters Please. chill. Will you help me? I have no time for Beggars. I am no beggar. I just need a little help is all. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Why do you need the we money? spent everything on my husband's hunting gear. We hoped that the sport would support us. We hoped. Whoever killed him took everything. All I have left is this desert raid plate. I thought we were so lucky when he brought it home. If I could sell it, the kids and I could get out of here. Maybe buy passage to Coruscant? I don't know. Will you buy it? What can I, I even do with this place? place? They are worth more than 500 credits. I think I'll just take it from you. What? Please tell me you're kidding. I can't get any lower than this. And you would take advantage? Give it to me now. No, I won't. And it over. Or Please, get no. Very unpleasant. Take it then. Yeah. But you may as well have just killed me. Oh. This is beneath even you, stealing from a helpless woman. How could you? You, you have no conscience. That darkness. The role of the mm -hmm. weak mm -hmm. is to serve mm -hmm. the will of the strong. I'm glad you understand that. It troubles me to see you behaving this way. Such acts can lead to the dark side. Have you not seen? My face, woman. It's gray. Shut up. Just shut up. How about that? La boda ni wen kis matoma. Wana kun best jing pa ma ruli ra. Tok jing ba ni non kek. Tok ning uba batu kochi. Tong nong bong chang nun yang. What's going on here? Who are you? What is this? Where am I? <laughs> Who am I? You brought up something about taking out an entire village. Hey, if you guys need someone to take out an entire village, am I the guy for you? Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. What about hunting As I said, missiles? we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. I'm doing a lot of good With the downturn in mining, people want any chance at credits they can get. Most wouldn't survive a day, let alone qualify as hunters. The last license issued before the ban was given to a woman named Marlena Venn. She'll do fine. She had a mean streak a parsec wide. She also paid double. Exceptions like this are rare, unless it suits the company to offer them. Mm. No way well, to normally one? we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. I will agree to do this Excellent. for you. 100%. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Here is your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. 
Oh, go get to the thing. Zerka Corporation looks forward to your future business. Well, it wasn't that easy. Hey, anyway. What? How can I help? Yes, you wanted to speak yes, to me. Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. Ooh. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. Okay. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Is this true that you killed Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. But killing Revan is what you're famous for. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. But you would have killed Revan eventually, right? As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation mm -hmm. with Revan is painful. Oh, Let's yeah. to the mission. It just stares you directly back in the face. Hey, you. You and. Uh, da, 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 da. What do you have available for purchase? Can I sell that raid plate to you? Because I don't want it. What's that going to do for me? Nothing. I'm good. Speaking of nothing, that's what I got. Nothing. Some plasmas and things like that. Alright, well, nothing too crazy. Hmm. <sighs> Isn't about Zerka wanting the same people killed? Intelligent or not, the same people have killed I don't care. Get out of my way. I love when someone stops you and says, like, Yeah, get out of here. You You stop me, homie. You get out of here. I don't want to be here with you either. Ah, oh, cool, she's gone. I don't have to see her anymore. Let's look in the hunting lodge. Maybe I can sell this plate I got. Start a start a fight or two. I have something to sell you. That would do nicely. Well, what do you have? Jungian Kalatas Carbine. Armor reinforcements. A bunch of... That's cool. Hey, look at that. I got my 500 credits. Thanks, person who's not here anymore. Tannis What can I do for you? Did my wife send you? This ain't about credits, is it? Maybe it is. For experts, you seem oh, of course. Who put you up to this? My wife? I meant what I said about having no credits. Good, hun. Yep, you're useless. Alright. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Durak. Get lost, Quinn. Tenderfoot. I hunt desert raid. I don't babysit. Just as well, you probably couldn't teach me anything. Hoping to goad me into talking a bit? My name is Doric Quinn. I'm a hunter. I hunt. You know what? You show me respect. Easy I demand now. I'm not looking for a fight. This is a friendly place to leave now.
Hmm. <laughs> okay, cool. Random dark side points. Yeah, you're just here to tell me facts and stuff. Kudos, who are you? What do you got? What do you do? Hmm. Kind of wondering if that was a Bazak player, and it was. No time for Bazak right now, my friend. Uh, there maybe there'll be a nice Bazak stream on uh, <laughs> May the Fourth weekend, but for right now, let's continue our main story here. A little Java. <laughs> Huh? I have this odd feeling I'm here that across this very threshold uh -huh. yes there is some bullshittery oh wait some bullshittery Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive he has promised a great mm -hmm, reward mm -hmm. to whoever destroys you and I'm promised a great reward for when I kill you because you guys Look at you got some tasty stuff on you. Lightsabers, but I'm gonna need that. So I'm gonna have a better offhand bonus. More crystals, the data pad. Hey, there we go. Uh, first, let's run over here. Skills recommend, okay, power. Can you get that you win yet? Alright, uh, let's go with whirlwind here. Yeah. What do you recommend? Stasis? Yeah, okay. A workbench, which I believe will be in the next place I actually give a shite about going. Uh, work, work. How can I help? Yes, I suppose I can understand you? your curiosity given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Talravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. So the Jedi separate children from Relationships family. with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst. But even love can lead to folly. You aren't allowed to love. Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be aware of such things. You miss your family at all? Like all who join the Order, I've learned to embrace the life I've chosen. I had to let go of my attachments to my family. You don't sound very convinced. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. You and your father were close? Very close. I was only a little girl when I left my family, but I still remember him fondly. 
He was kind and gentle. He doted on me. My mother, however, was different. I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her in the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whipped away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. You ever tried to get in touch? The child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. Strange. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Boo. As I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. Pish posh, pish posh. I'm very sad when you say Even that. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. Some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, what do you want? Oi, 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 oi. You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. <laughs> Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. We were going through the asteroid <laughs> fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells. And the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. Did it back The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most. Maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other. Just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it. Something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. Okay. It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire, thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. A ship. We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Well, that's the only hmm. story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? Your choice. Okay, that was actually really cool. Very interesting to say the least. See in here, there's nothing too crazy aside from your average denizens. Very dusty for inside of a bar, but yeah, when you have a sand floor, it happens. Alright, let's go get HK-47, guys. I think, uh, I think it'd be a pretty awesome thing to do right now. Let's hear it. So, Bastila, I heard a rumor that the Vulcars captured you without much of a struggle. It must be embarrassing to be bested by a handful of street thugs. There were extenuating circumstances, and I can assure you, it took far more than a handful of Vulcars to subdue you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there were 20 of them. I mean, 50, no, wait, uh, Whatever you say. 
All I know is that if we had more Jedi like Bastila fighting against us in the Mandalorian Wars, my side might not have lost. Bold talk from a broken down mercenary who is serving at Davik's heel. I'd call you his pet cat hound. But they have enough loyalty not to turn on their masters. Insults? Maybe if your master had trained your lightsaber to be as quick as your tongue, you could have escaped those Valkyrs, you spoiled little Jedi princess. I was not spoiled. <laughs> I was given the same training as everyone else in the Order. You are nothing but a... No, I must not do this. There is no emotion. There is peace. That's the problem with you, Jedi. Always chanting about peace and control. And having Never neither. for a good fight. Well... Except for Revan, I guess. Hi. Enough, Mandalorian. Just in the background. Hello. Don't to your bait anymore. The game is over. Let us continue on with what we were doing. Yeah, getting a murder robot. Ooh, murder robot. Look at him. Look at him. You, you're coming with me. Greetings. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. Query. Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. You mentioned battle and protocol. Outline your functions. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst. And I am also proficient in personal combat. Up. Uh, you know what? All right, let's see about purchasing you. The fool Lithorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Uh -huh. Advisement, I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. Does Luke? I know you talk about him like this. Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you should you purchase me. Please. <laughs> All right. What do you have available in your shop? Combat ready, perhaps. Hmm. Can I ask a few questions? What does the HK-47 designation mean? I'm interested, let's talk price. That would make sense, that would make sense. I'm gonna convince you to lower the price a bit. That was quick, desperate to sell. Still can't pay that. Perhaps I can get you to go down You will go lower price. I deserve it. This is not a thing to be trifled with. Continue to use it frivolously and you may find yourself straying down the dark path. Oh my god, I'm already so far down that path, lady. You're deserving. Oh, 3,000 cr- Yeah, I don't have that either, so here's, here's what's gonna happen. Yeah. It troubles me to see you behaving this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I still can't pay that. I'll be back for you. You. Yeah, I gotta go make money. You won this time. I'm gonna go get some gaffy sticks. Make some money. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. Well, let's see it. 
All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. Thank you. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Thanks, evil corporate guy. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, mm. tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Mm, all right. Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. You sound like you're planning to kill him. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of, but he's not smart. Okay, well, I have sure to go. you do. Bye, crazy lady. Yeah, you see that little mess right there? Let's go deal with that little mess right there. Go deal with this. Go ruthlessly kill some sand people because I need gaffy sticks. Like yesterday. All right. Ah, the vast nothingness that is the Tatooine and Dune Sea. Anyone out there? Lights up the Could skin help? really well. I seem to be uh, doomed. Isn't it funny? I think it's funny. Hey there, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. Oh, hey, it's you. I remember you at Faz's place. Could I get you to help out a fellow hunter? I would ask what happened here, but I already hear that I've worn out my welcome with my wife Marlena. She fixes my droids. This should be interesting. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. I hear she was right. What do you want me to do? The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're... she knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. Did you try to do some repair? I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. I'd, uh, really appreciate a bit of help. Oh. No. Please? Don't help him. But I want to be uh, What do you have in mind? Credits. Well, you pay. Hey, no problem. But it won't be a fortune or anything. I bet the wife has drained our shared accounts. Now, uh, about that help. Just access each droid's repair interface. Mm -hmm. You'll have to do some tinkering, but be careful. One explosion, I can survive. Any more than one, and I'm dead. Oh, and uh, ignore the message Marlena left in there. No way do I deserve this, I swear. Really? You, you swear? Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? I made sure you would. Here's the deal. Your precious droids have trapped you. They'll hold you until you die of thirst. Make a mistake while repairing them, they explode. Have a good death. My mother was right about you. Damn. Slimeball must die. All right, there's one repaired. Well, nice to see you. You asked. Yeah, I'm not helping you. What? It's a close death. Maybe I'll watch myself. So you nice just want me to die? Water. That is just so typical of the people I meet. And Mary, thanks a lot. Mm. Well, fine. I'll stay pretty much right here, I guess. <laughs> here. I'm not kidding. You'll die here. Nobody looks out for their neighbor anymore. Well, so let's see how these <laughs> Oh, that got real loud. What can I do? All right, anyway. Ooh, nothing. Cool, I can sell that if I need to. Flamethrower mods are always good. Already got some light plating though, so that'll also definitely just be sold. Repair kit, very nice. All right, let's go over here. We got some sand people to kill. Man, these old crawlers look so much cooler than the newer ones. 
I like how they're kind of saying that maybe Zerka left crawlers on Tatooine and that's where the sand people didn't take them over. But these crawlers with the sand barge, like, style up on top, they look so dope. Not as tall, but way more massive than the other ones that are used. Who are you? Ah, it doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out on our own against another wave of them. You know Davit King? Yeah, if he was Scottish. Yeah, that's his Scottish brother, by the way. This is Davit King's Scottish brother. You would be right. Came out of nowhere. Wait, damn it. Here they come again. How did they do that? Let's go. Gaffy sticks to get, bro. Very, very important. Come on. You gotta come to me. I'm not running all the way out there. None of them? That's not cool. Thanks man. for your help. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company God, that's send such a bad you? Accent. About time they drove these animals out. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about that enclave in the south? Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all those. Just lose his accent, gets it back, loses it, gets it crawlers. back. That place is a fortress, a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. That is not my job. Yes. Ah, the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Alright, well since none of those kills counted towards my gaffy stick count, which is bullshit, by the way. Bullshit. What can I do? Sure. There we go, healed up. Yeah. I wonder if Candorus can do this. I mean, he's a pure soldier. Nope, he can't. All right, that's that's dope. I'm here. Sure. Help! Please. Cool. Please help! Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. That could be dangerous. Or you could just die. I'm not even going to try to persuade him. They just die. Nasty, fat, gross, pig ass Gamorians. Give me those remains. Yeah, right. Now there's some gaffy sticks just waiting for me.
Okay, that fight went a lot worse than I expected it to. Um, oh, come on! Uh, yes, I know. Boo! This, again, this is a uh, make sure to save often, everybody because this game does not care and it only does very sparse autosave. Did not expect them to take me out when I was going through them that fast. Anyone out there? Yes. <sighs> da, 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 da. Uh -huh, yep. Whatever here. Oh wow, isn't that so crazy? Why would you do this? I sit by spider. No, you're literally gonna die here. Alright, anyway. What? Is that? Grab that again. Grab that again. That one. We'll help the miners. Save after I kill those Gamorians, then go fight all of those other guys. Ugh. Should have thrown more grenades. I'm here. What? What? Who are you? Uh or black sense. Right. Came out of nowhere. Wait, damn it. Here they come again. How did they How did they do? That bastard sounded an ass. Any mid packs, which is I'm here. Very stupid. Sure. Thanks for your help. I did the Yes, did they you... did. Don't worry, I'm just going to kill them. Yeah. Every single one of them will die. Yes. Sure. Yes. What? Yes. Okay. 
Go with the Achani one for now, and you will definitely need the Alright, not bad, cool. Yes? Yes? Please stop nearly dying. That'd be really, really swell. Everybody, save game. I'm here. Gaffy sticks back so I can get the money to get HK. Alright, trying to ever talk. This will be way faster. I'm trying to run back. 
Stuff to sell. Don't need that. Don't need that. That. Or that one. That one. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Need that. Or that one. Oops. Forget Kellan. Who cares about him? Here we go. Close. Whole bunch of better stuff now. We make the rest of the money from our friend selling us her gaffy stick. I'm gonna go back to the ship and upgrade that short lightsaber I have. That way I can far, far easier uh, use my dual weapon fighting. Greetings again from. Yep, I have gaffy sticks. I see that. But do you have the all important? Just the regular ones. Then I'll take those off your hands. Farewell. Hey. Is there anyone in here? There's not a single workbench. Whatever. Run inside real quick. Hopefully, all the Giska will be dead and gone. And uh, we can also get closer to the other, like, ultimate dark side hack. Get pretty close to calling this episode, but I want to make sure we end pretty much back on the dunes and get ready to fight more. Hey, no geese good. Ooh, isn't that awesome? I need you. Short lightsaber. None. Bam, bam. Yeah, they're not both going in. go. Short saber in one hand, normal in the other. Yeah, very nice. I wonder if I can start spawning the... What the hell was that? I think it's after I leave Tattoo. This room. Oh, missions over here. That's right. Hey there. Don't worry. Okay. You don't want to talk about him yet? Okay, that's fine. We ain't got to talk about your brother. And, and, okay, okay. Let's see now. Hey, I've got enough. Got enough credits to go get HK. And then the next episode, it's just going to be a nice rehashing of episode two, guys. Because in the next episode, we're going to their camp. Oh. And I'm going to kill the women, children, and, like, all of them. No sand person. Not a single Tusken Raider from the Star Wars universe. 
is gonna survive. I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. I think we both know the reason you've been watching me. You never give up, do you? <laughs> I admit, I'm interested in you. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, have a mm -hmm. great gift. You have an awesome command of the Force, and I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. I make you tremble. You look tingly inside too. What? Uh, no, of course not. <laughs> not like that anyway. In many ways, you are you are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy. Or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I've seen you give in to temptation and indulge your baser emotions on many occasions. I'm afraid you are on the path that leads to the dark side. You mm -hmm. need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety. For it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. But I will do my best to make you understand. Mm. What are you trying to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, temptation, or to use the force to destruct events. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power. Right. And it becomes harder and harder to resist. Mm -hmm. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. It's pretty powerful words. Seem to know that temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? Perhaps it's just the reasoning for those acts you don't accept. Are we saying the light side is innocent of killing? One who serves the light does not strike down an innocent. We take arms against the dark side and the injustice that follows it only. It's um. so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror. That we have unlimited control, and vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What yes. greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them. We are weakened while they are strengthened. So we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side. Even when the battle becomes wearying. We would have required such as... I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded mm. by shadows cast from the dark side. Yes. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Oh, I certainly will be very powerful, Basila. Do not, do not fret. I will be extremely powerful. You can follow along with me, or be left in the dust. It's up to you. Candorus will also follow me, and so will HK-47. HK-47 and Candorus, bro, they've got my back, no matter what. True friends, true, true friends. All right, let's grab HK-47, and that'll pretty much run us on our hour for this episode, guys. I am loving doing this so much. Put down in the comments what your favorite planet is and Greetings. what hijinks I should get into on Tatooine that I haven't yet. I am referred to as H Query. Yeah, I already, I already know all that. I meant to talk to him. Go away. Here we go. You'll be mine soon enough. Here. Happily. Um, Candorous, old buddy, old pal, old chum. Boop. 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 Remove. Okay. Close. Bye bye. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Travel with me. Friend. Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. I am so happy to have him on the team. 
see that see that square right there that juhani shadowed square yeah she dead forever forever she's never coming back i killed her i don't care hey there's our boy ready do you sure are And then if I remember correctly, his main shtick feats. Yes, he is a rifleman. He's also very good at upgrade class, tactical logics, okay. So yes, definitely a flamethrower. Maybe give him some energy shielding, medium plating. Oh yeah, you can use Alvar's blaster. I'm happy I kept it around. Yes. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Uh, Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. These are moving a shredding ball. I still have memory. Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. Like Qualification. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assumed the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its Master. Right, Master? How can you not know parts of Answer. functionality? There have been numerous repairs and tampering made to my system, Master. Several systems are not operating as they should be. The fact that my memory is incomplete may be due to meatbag incompetence or something else I am unaware of. Are you ready to repair you? Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master, but anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. So I can restore your memory. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions I, I, I of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions Which of my core memory, really however, <laughs> still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. The memory I just Conjecture. Come back. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master. But there is no way to know. It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. How do I go apart restoring it? Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. I would like to try an attempt. Affirmative. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I will. Statement. As you wish, Master. Oh, you've shorted out something, Master. But it has nothing to do with my memory. <gasps> Ow! I am poking my own eye sockets. Ah! Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, me... I mean, Master. Very well, uh, something. Good to know, though. I need to up my repair skill. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Fine, don't sell to me. Whatever. I just want to armor and stuff anyway. Get it from somebody else. All right, get back huh? out here. Good. One less conversation to have to have, and we're back to the dunes, 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 dunes. And I finally have HK forty-seven. We've got some Dark Knight. Jedi robes on, short saber. We are looking good, feeling good, and about to go cleanse the Dune Sea of some sand people. These Tusken Raiders, they got no idea what's coming for them. Guys, thank you all so much for joining me on this May the 4th. And may the 4th surely be with you. Don't forget, though, Revenge of the 5th is right around the corner and is far better, of course. I look forward to sharing more videos and more fun with you on this a marvelous Star Wars month. Guys, put down in the comments things you might want me to do, things you might want to say uh, or see, and especially things you loved about this Let's Play. Have an amazing rest of your day, and as always, may the Force serve you well.